welcome to Ludic Science. Some time ago I uploaded a video on this miniature high voltage power supply. These little power supplies produce around 10 to 15,000 volts and they have a very very simple driver circuit. It only consists of a transistor and a few more components, a diode and a resistor. And in this video I am going to use another type of driver for the transformer and hopefully it will be more efficient. It comes disassembled but that is good for our purposes because we will only use the transformer and the transistor. We will need two identical transistors for the circuit this doesn't have a part number, but any NPN power transistor will be good for this circuit. Next time you need a PCB for your electronics project, consider using the professional services of JLC PCB. JLC PCB is the world leader in PCB fabrication. You can order online. You just need to register, upload your Gerber file, and wait a few days for your PCBs at an unbeatable price. This is the schematic. As you can see, we need the two transistors, also two resistors, 470 ohms. This must be at least one watt of power. We need this capacitor must be a good quality capacitor, polyester, and with a rated voltage of at least 200 volts. We also need a little inductor in order for the circuit not to draw too much current. And here we have the output transformer, which we take from the little power supply, and we need to modify the primary. We need two windings, one of them is 14 turns, with a center tap and the other, the feedback coil, has only five turns. The little transformer has some tape. We cut the tape and then you can separate the two halves of the coil and take out the primary. You just unwind the existing wire and then put your two coils. One of them, as we said, seven turns, a center tap, another seven turns. And the other, the feedback coil, only five turns. You must be careful when disassembling because there are two little plastic uh, pieces separating the core and they are necessary for the correct working of the transformer. These two pieces of paper must be put again in the core before assembling again. And here is the full circuit. The transformer has the new two coils for the primary and uh, this is the little inductor around 20 to 25 turns on a toroidal ferrite core. And I am using a 0.47 microfarad capacitor, 250 volts. So let's see how it works. Okay, let's connect the circuit to the power supply, 3.5 volts, and see what arc do we get. The original circuit produces a larger arc at the same voltage level. However, in the Roger oscillator, the output voltage and current depend on the value of the capacitor. A large capacitor produces high current and low voltage and vice versa. So I'm going to change this capacitor 0.47 microfarads 
with a smaller one in order to obtain more voltage. So this new capacitor is 0.047 microfarads, so let's see. Let's try at 12 volts. I hope the circuit doesn't burn. And now 20 volts. Well, it seems that was too much. So there it is, the circuit works very well. The transistors do not get hot at all. So if you want to experiment with these little power supplies, you can try this Roger oscillator circuit. That's all for today. Thanks for coming to my channel and see you in the next video.